A heart attack occurs when blood flow to the heart muscle is blocked, typically due to a blood clot forming in a coronary artery. The most common cause of this blockage is the buildup of plaque inside the artery walls, a condition known as atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is a gradual process that begins with the accumulation of cholesterol and other substances on the inner walls of arteries, forming fatty deposits known as plaques. Over time, these plaques can harden and narrow the arteries, reducing blood flow to vital organs such as the heart. To help unclog arteries, there are a number of foods and herbs that have been backed by scientific studies to help. In today's video, we're going to give you 10 examples of those foods and herbs. Bear in mind, if you are having issues or if you're predisposed to atherosclerosis, it's always best to have a consultation with your doctor and discuss all potential treatment options. So the first example we're going to give today is garlic. So garlic has been shown to have anti-inflammatory and anti-platelet effects, which can help reduce reduce the risk of atherosclerosis and blood clots. Garlic's direct effect on atherosclerosis is down to its capacity to reduce fat content in arterial cells and to prevent intracellular fat accumulation. The second food or herb we're going to talk about today is turmeric. Now turmeric contains curcumin, which is the active compound in turmeric, and it's been found to reduce the buildup of plaque in arteries and lower levels of inflammation in the body. Curcumin helps to regulate the expression and the activity of lipid transporter expression, particularly CD36 and CD38, responsible for cholesterol uptake and efflux. Therefore, it maintains cell homeostasis. Curcumin also suppresses various gene factors and helps to protect against atherosclerotic plaque formation. The third food type is berries. So berries are very rich in antioxidants that can help improve blood flow and reduce inflammation, which can help prevent atherosclerosis. Berries are a very good source of polyphenols, especially anthocyanins, also micronutrients and fiber. There's been various studies which have been conducted and those with a high consumption of berries have an improved cardiovascular risk profile. The studies involving berries include chokeberries, cranberries, blueberries and strawberries, or it can also be a purified extract of anthocyanin, and each have demonstrated significant improvements in low density lipoprotein oxidation, lipid peroxidation and dyslipidemia. The fourth food type we're going to talk about today is avocado. Avocado contains heart-healthy monosaturated fats as well as fiber and potassium, which can help lower blood pressure and reduce the risk of heart disease. Higher avocado intake was associated with a lower risk of cardiovascular disease and coronary heart disease in a large population of US men and women. The key thing is replacing certain fat-containing foods with avocado could lead to a lower risk of cardiovascular disease. The fifth food type are nuts. So nuts are a good source of healthy fats, fiber, and protein, and it's been shown to help reduce levels of low-density lipoprotein, or LDL, which is considered to be the bad cholesterol. Most fats in nuts are mono- and polyunsaturated fats that lower low-density lipoprotein cholesterol level. There was a study based on the data from Nurses Health Study, and it was estimated that the substitution of fat from one ounce of nuts for equivalent energy from carbohydrates in an average diet was associated with a 30% reduction in coronary heart disease risk and the substitution of nut fat for saturated fat was associated with a 45% reduction in risk. Green tea is the sixth food type we're going to talk about today and green tea contains catechins which have been found to improve blood flow and reduce levels of LDL cholesterol. The seventh type is fatty fish. So fatty fish such as salmon and tuna are rich in omega-3 fatty acids which have been shown to reduce inflammation and lower the risk of heart disease. A study showed that an increased frequency of fish consumption and improved lifestyle behaviors may work together to lower the serum TGHDLC ratio, which would reduce your risk of atherosclerosis. Spinach is rich in antioxidants, and it's the eighth food type which we're going to talk about today. Spinach contains nitrates, which can help improve blood flow and reduce the risk of atherosclerosis. It's also known to reduce high blood pressure. High blood pressure can damage your blood vessel walls, and fats in the blood can collect in these damaged areas, clogging up the arteries and leading to atherosclerosis. So a higher intake in spinach may help to reduce 
your blood pressure and reduce your risk of atherosclerosis. Pomegranate is the ninth food type and it contains antioxidants that help reduce inflammation, improve blood flow, which can help prevent plaque buildup in arteries. A study showed that pomegranate extract reduced coronary artery atherosclerosis. The atheroprotective effects of pomegranate extract appear to involve reduced oxidative stress and inflammation in the blood vessel walls. The last food type we're going to talk about today is olive oil. Olive oil is a good source of heart-healthy monounsaturated fats, which can help lower LDL cholesterol levels and reduce the risk of heart disease. So we've made it to the end of the video. If you've made it all the way to the end, leave a 100 emoji so I know you've made it here. If you have any questions about atherosclerosis or anything in this video, leave a comment in the comment section below. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and thank you very much for watching.